are some people on here that know me personally, and then there are some people that may not. So to give you a little background about myself, my name's Mika Coleman. I've been a real estate agent for 17 years and also investing in uh, real estate. So I'm actually a full-time real estate agent, but my passion has always been in real estate investing. I've um, sold and acquired over a million dollars worth of assets in real estate. And I'm also a trainer and a speaker for the National Commercial Real Estate Association. So if I do have any realtors on here that are interested in commercial, um, they're having a free class tomorrow and it's called the NCRA.com. You can find them on Facebook if you're interested in doing commercial. Um, they do have a free class from one to three tomorrow. Um, just go to their website or you could go to Facebook. That's the NCRA. NCREA.com, the National Commercial Real Estate Association, which I'm also a speaker and trainer for them. And then also, too, I'm a number one best selling author on Amazon. And um, my book's called The Entrepreneur's Guide to Business Credit. And there's a little story that I like to share with people, um, especially during this time. I know some of you have been around long enough to have experienced the downfall in real, real estate in 2000 eight in 2009. And to give you a little background about myself, I started investing in real estate when I was 20 years old and I was buying properties all across the United States. And unfortunately, I did not have an exit strategy and I had all my eggs in one basket. So pretty much I was buying and selling. I was um, actually investing in real estate all across the United States. And when 2008 and 2009 came, I pretty much lost everything. And I did not know where to start. I didn't know what it was to have bad credit. I did not know how to get out of debt. And so the reason why I wrote this book, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Business Credit is because what I learned is that you don't wanna use your personal credit or your personal assets to invest in real estate. It's very advisable to use business credit. And so, um, I do, if you are interested in knowing more about that, you could go to Amazon and look up my name and you'll see my book there. And so I'm telling you all that is because during that time, I was property rich, but I was cash poor. And when the market hit like it is now, there was nothing that I can do. Like all my assets, everything was tied up. So that leads me into my presentation about tax deed expert. Like you guys will see tomorrow, I'm actually going and closing on um, two lots. And I basically, tripled my money. And um, I'm actually going to show you that tomorrow when I go in there. But I'm telling you all this because I became a tax deed expert due to the fall or the crisis from 2007 and 2008. And this is one of the best investment strategies that you could ever do. So I'm going to get right into the presentation and give you some knowledge on what are tax deeds. Um, the difference is now, a lot of people don't know the difference. So there's two different type of, um, it's a tax deed and then you have your tax liens. Now there are only specific states in the United States that offer tax deeds. And so if you're on here and you're doing tax liens, I, you're in the wrong place because I only specialize in tax deeds. So I'm gonna tell you there's two types of tax deeds. There's one where it offers immediate ownership, meaning if you go to an auction or if you buy from a specific list, you get the property right away free and clear. That's called a straight tax deed. And then you have redeemable tax deeds. In certain states, when you buy the um, tax deed, you get the possession and you get to actually do whatever you want with that property, but you don't actually get the deed until after the redemption period. So there's two types of tax deeds, and it depends on what state that you're in. And then you have your tax liens. Now your tax liens is a simple security certificate that gives you interest in that property. So the difference is with tax deeds, you wanna ask yourself, do I wanna own a property? Do I want to actually have a physical property? Whereas tax liens, you're actually having like a lien, like a title to the property and the property is your secured asset. The reason why I don't like tax liens is because it gives you an extra step in the process. So if the person doesn't come back and pay their tax lien, then you have to do a foreclosure in order to actually get the deed to the property. So I don't mess with tax liens. So if you're on here for tax liens, I'm not your girl. So I just wanna reiterate that, that tax liens are like basically holding a certificate. And the good thing about both of them are, is that they both um, have good income and growth. The difference between a tax deed and a tax lien is that a tax deed, you could quickly convert over to cash. Whereas a tax lien, you actually have to hold it for a certain period of time and then you get a return on your investment. 
So that's the difference between the two. And so for some of you that are on here and you're wondering, is my state a tax deed? Or what state is actually a tax deed? This is a list of all the states that are actually tax deed states. Now remember, I said there's two types of tax deeds. There's uh, immediate possession and then there's a redemption. So you basically can get a tax deed and you automatically get the, um, the deed. And then there's actually one where you actually have to wait for the redemption period. But these are all the states that actually offer tax deeds where if you buy the tax deed from the auction, you actually get the deed that day in certain states. And then in other states, you have to wait for the redemption period. Does everybody get that? If you have any questions, put them in the chat and I will answer them at the end of this presentation. So for some of you that don't know, I'm from California, but I moved to Texas because in California, it's a two year redemption period. Whereas in Texas, it's a six month redemption period. So I moved here because I was like, I wanna make my money really quick. So every state has a different redemption period and um, I will be offering something at the end of this presentation, and I will actually work directly with you to find those inf that information out for you if that's something you're interested in. So I'm going to move on and talk about, give you a resource like how I do this. So a lot of, some of you are on my um, Facebook, and you were asking me about a list. So I'm going to basically kind of walk you through, um, let me exit out of here a little bit, hold on a resource that I actually utilize for Texas. And can everybody see this? Where did it go? Wait, hold on. Here we go. So right here, if everybody can see, um, I just opened up this website. Now this is for people that are in Texas. This is all for um, the state of Texas. And as you can see right here where it says estimated bid amount, that's the opening bid for $829. And I can't see this part. Okay, we're right here. So I'm going to click on here where it says more details. And the list that I'm going to give you today is basically like a framework of a list to kind of like vet the property because in tax deeds, it, you make the money in the buy, meaning you'll know exactly how much you could bid up to to either double or triple your money. So I'm gonna kind of go over the, um, this property. Uh, the minimum bid is $829. Now they're saying that- hey, Dad, uh, We cannot see the screen just yet. Can you please uh, re-click yours? I think there's like a short delay. Yeah, so now we see you. <laughs> if you can share your screen again, um, can you see it now? Now we can see it. Okay. Thank you. All right. So this is a website where you can go, I guess, let me go back and see if you can, um, so you guys could see the map. Hold on. So this is a map of all of Texas. And so this is where you can get a whole slew of properties. I mean, you could take your, your uh, choice. And you, as you guys can see right here, it says 676 properties. I'm gonna go to this property right here. And like I said, I'm gonna offer you guys a free checklist that I use to vet my properties. And so I'm gonna click on more details. Now I want, for my California people, <laughs> it's a little bit different. Um, I had to learn all this because I'm from California and this is Texas. So I'm just gonna kind of like um, compare. And for people that are in other states, you would have to learn some of the different things. Like for California, it's an APN number, which gives you the uh, lot ID of a number, whereas in Texas, it gives you a legal description. And um, the cause number is like the tax, the tax county number. So it's gonna be different in every county. So you're gonna have to kind of like learn that. And if you decide that you want me to coach you and help you through that process, I will offer that at the end of this, but I wanna give you an idea of what it looks like. So basically um, the cause number is something that you really need to know or the APN number, because a lot of times, as you guys may know, there's the same property on, I mean, the same address, but in a different city. So you gotta make sure it's that right, like 
um, APN number or the, the actual property. So like this, you would actually put in the cause number to make sure that this is the actual right property that you're bidding on because it might be something else in another city. Um, and then also too, what I love about this website, and I also offer other resources for other um, places like in other states, and I'll go over that in a second. But what I like about this site is it pretty much gives you everything that you need to know. For example, oh, for example you need to have know where the sale location is. You need to know what time the auction is. Um, you also need to know how you make the payment. Now I have a funny story to tell you about making payments and then you have to have the payee. So for example, in Dallas County, if you bid, you have to pay the money right then and there. There's no going to the bank. There's no like, you know, wait a minute, let me go, go get the money. You have to pay it exactly there. Whereas in Tarrant County, you have like an hour after the auction. And a funny story, I actually tried to go to my bank and get my money from another state and they wouldn't let me have it and almost got arrested. So you have to really be um, careful and know what the payment requirement is before you actually go to the auction. Now I'm going to go to another site and this is for everybody. This is pretty much for everybody because some people will ask, well, can I do this in other states? You can absolutely do this in other states. The only caveat to that is, is if, you can't actually physically see the property and you're going through Google Maps, for example, like here it says property location on Google Maps and you click it and um, see where it says. So this is actually not even a house, it's a piece of land, but I could probably go there tomorrow and it might be a dilapidated house, I don't know. So um, Google Maps don't always update stuff, so it's always good to actually have your eyes, you know, physically go and see it before you actually make that purchase. So this is another resource and I offer a lot of resources that are free. So if you decide that you want to like buy my course or get coaching, there's no additional cost. You pretty much all the information is free. So this is another resource that you can go to and you see right here it says find assessor and property tax records resources by state. So this is all the 50 states and when you click on the state, you can pretty much click um, by county. So it has all the counties all the counties that you can look into. So, I mean, your opportunities are pretty much endless. Your screen is lagging again. So can you give it a second or re-click the site, please? Okay. Did it do it? Are you, can you guys see it? Not yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. It should be loading soon now. Now, can you see it? Now we can see it. Okay, so this is a site, let me go back so you guys can see that. So this is a site where you can get all 50 states, pretty much all 50 states, where there's a tax deed or tax lien, you can find the information. And once you click on the state, you can go right here and you can search by county. So whatever county you want, you can find the information that you need. And some of these will have the tax deed auctions and it actually has the tax deed list if you're um if that's something that you want to do so each county has their own set of rules and they have their own set of lists but you got to decide on which county you actually want to invest in and then for my california people people were asking me what's the list where's the list and you know i'm in dallas and the properties are like crazy but here's a list can you guys see this can you see the list we can are you able to zoom in a little bit extra Make it a little bit bigger? Well, There's, no, no, there should be. Okay. Let me see. Can you see it now? Yes, that's okay. much better. Okay. So this is a list for California, you guys, and you guys would be like kind of amazed. Like you literally can buy a house for 8,400 now. It might be land, it might be a house. I haven't vetted them because I haven't been to California, but I did want to show you that there are opportunities everywhere, even in California. So this is a list. I didn't put the counties because I had to do a lot of work for this list. So you don't really know what county it is in, but I will be offering you resources and tools on how you can get a list like this in my course. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the different properties that you can actually get in California for a little bit of nothing. So this is um, one of the, uh, the tools that I can show and provide you in my course. So I'm going to go back to the presentation and I'm going to 
uh, talk about the benefits of the actual um, of the actual tax deed. Now, can you guys see this? Because for some reason I'm having a problem sharing my screen. Can you see the screen? Yeah, we can see we can see it. Yep. Okay. So the benefits of tax deeds is there's little to no risk if you buy right, and that's what I'm going to give you today. I'm going to give you a general checklist that you can use so that you make sure that you're actually purchasing the property the right way. And there's minimum investments, which you guys will see a video in a couple of days. I'm actually going to go look at a quarter of an acre for $250. So there is minimum investments of 250, 500, 800. So it's doable for people that have little to no money. And I have, my experience has been, I either have doubled my money or I've tripled my money. So that's a really good benefit when you're dealing with tax deeds, because once you buy it, you can quickly convert that to cash, depending upon what investment strategy you want to use. And so some people want to ask me, okay, how do you get a guaranteed return? Now, in Texas, it's a six month uh, redemption period. So um, remember I talked about redeemable deeds. So even though I purchased the deed at the auction, then the owner has six months to come back. And if they do, they have to pay me 25% return on my money. Now in California, it's 18%, but you have to wait two years. I don't have time. So that's why I'm here in Dallas. I'd rather wait six months. But I also have another caveat that I learned when I moved here that there's actually a whole nother list where there's no redemption period. So that's why I've been able to flip my properties between 30 to, well, no, I take that back, not 30, like 60 to 90 days. Um, so that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, uh, comp, a, a whole nother spreadsheet, a whole nother thing that we would talk about later. But, um, and this last thing that I like to talk about is that you get the property free and clear. They literally clear out all liens on the property once you acquire it. So that's one of the things that I love about tax deeds. Not only do you get the property or you get a piece of land, but you get it free and clear. So those are the benefits of investing in tax deeds. Okay, why is this not doing that? And then once again, so I showed you a list where you can get, um, you can get at different counties. And then I also showed you a resource if you're in Texas where you can get an actual list of all the properties. Like in state of Texas, it's 250 counties and they have their uh, tax deed auctions every first Tuesday of the month. Now in California, um, it just depends on the county. Um, I know Sacramento is yearly. Um, some, I, I think uh, Butte County is like quarterly. So every county is different. So that's why you have to kind of like do your legwork and figure out which county you want to invest in and be ready for when it um, comes. And then also too, uh, before I got on this call, because I, as you guys see that list that I showed you for California, I was like, well, I need to be buying some of these properties in California. Well, guess what? I have people in California. I'm gonna have them go look at the properties, but, and I can do all of that online. And that's another resource that I will offer in my course. So um, you will get an actual checklist of how to actually do that, but you also will get a list where there's no redemption period, meaning you don't have to wait for the owner to come back. There's no auctions and you pretty much can do a direct sale, which is what I did today. I mailed out all my little checks and all my little contracts to get them direct sale. And I show you that in my course. But today I'm just gonna give you like a basic checklist basically kind of like to help you vet the property. So you guys are curious about that. And Lorraine's about to put um, the, the link where you can actually get that checklist right now in the chat. So make sure you sign in so that you can actually get that checklist. We have two questions on the floor. Are you willing to answer those? Absolutely. The first question is, are you doing auctions online or in person? I do them, I've done in person, but I also do over the counter, which means that there's no competition, but I started out doing them at the auction in person. I don't do online. A lot of people ask me about that. And the reason why um, I don't, well, I'm gonna try to do California online, but the problem with online auctioning is that everybody has access to it, right? So when everybody has access, what does that do to your competition? So I'd rather do um, over the counter or in person um, where like there's no competition. Did I answer all the questions? Okay, one more question. 
And I do want to make an announcement that people are unable to click the link that I put in. So if you can please just drop your email address in the chat box, I will directly, and you can put it directly to me, put it to Sacramento admin. You don't have, you can send a private message instead of sending it to everyone. Please drop your email address in the chat box and I will directly email you the link. The second question is, with tax deed, no auction for mortgage lien? I'm no. not sure. The mortgage, so that's what I love, you guys. I mean, it's unreal. And you guys are gonna see tomorrow when I go to the title company, I just purchased this um, property in January and I'm closing on it tomorrow. Meaning if there was a, a lien on it, it takes a while to clear all the liens. So there's no mortgage liens. If it goes to the tax deed auction, that means the mortgage has forfeited their right to collect. So you pretty much get these properties free and clear. And that's why I feel like this is the best investment strategy ever, because in these days and times, like, honestly, I'll be real with y'all. I'm like, shoot, what am I going to do? But I'm like, I have all these properties and all this asset. I, I can actually go do it. And I actually, because I'm buying them all cash, I can do seller financing and just get monthly payments. And I, I actually haven't had a problem with people wanting to buy them because I'm selling them so cheap. I'm getting them for like 2,500, 3,500 and I'm selling them for 15. And some, um, I was talking to a guy on Facebook and he was like, but isn't it worth 80? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not greedy. I want everybody to win. So I just want to triple my money and I move on. I don't want to fix it. I don't want to do any appraisal work. I don't want to do any of that. I just want to double or triple my money. And then I want the next investor to eat. That's just how I operate. Now, some of you might want to fix and flip it. So that's just going to take you a little bit more time. I'm done with the fix and flips. I pretty much buy the properties and I wholesale them. So on to the next slide. Any more questions? Those are all the questions we have right now. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you what you pretty much will get in this in um, my course that I'm offering and where to buy the over-the-counter um, properties. And they're different than the auction. I'm gonna be really clear about this. Now, some counties, I called a few counties in California this morning, and a few of them don't do this. So it just it's just about you know finding which counties actually do it. But there's a place where you can actually go and um, get a list and you pretty much can write them a check and get the property. So there's no redemption period. You don't have to go to the auction and there's no cancellations and it's pretty much a direct sell. And for those of you that are new to this and don't know what no cancellations mean, what, what that means is like, for example, like the list that I showed you where it had 670 properties, like I could do all my homework and go to the auction and then they're all canceled. And it's like, it was like a waste of my time, gas and money because someone either came and bought it or they actually paid their taxes. So the method that I've been successful with is doing the over-the-counter properties, which I will show you how to do in my course. And if you decide to get a coaching, coaching with my course, I'll actually find the counties that you need um, and we walk, I'll walk you step by step. Once again, uh, I just wanna remind you to, uh, if you want the free checklist on how to vet the properties, put your email in the, in the box and information. Why does my thing keep doing that? So this is what you're gonna get in my course because a lot of people keep asking me, okay, how do you do this? I wanna know how to do this. I've taken my time and I've actually, it's a pretty much five simple step checklist that you need to walk through. And I actually give you the videos and I actually walk you through the process. And I'm also gonna give you the resource resources on how and where to find these properties. So as you guys can see earlier in the, um, in the presentation where I showed you it had all the uh, states and then you click on the state and the county, I'll walk, I walk you through that process through a video so there's no guessing. And then the most important thing that I like to stress, especially for you newbie inv investors, is that the biggest mistake that most investors do is that they don't have an exit strategy. And I'm gonna tell you, um, my first deal I did, um, I actually did it in another state in Tennessee. I never saw the property. I just knew that the numbers worked. And I made $80,000 from that one investment. I never looked at the property. I never went to the property. I just knew that the numbers worked. But guess what? I didn't have an exit strategy. I made, I made $80,000, but I didn't know what to do with the property after I got it. 
So one of the things that I will teach you today, that, um, well as laws that we need to pass. Somebody's muting. Can somebody mute? So one of the things that I teach you in my course is how to do an exit strategy and the way you're going to bid or the way you're going to actually purchase that property is going to be based on your exit strategy. So um, that's something that I offer in my course as well, as well as a one-on-one -on -one coaching game plan. Because a lot of times as investors, we don't know which route to go or we don't even have the accountability. If you guys are interested in, in purchasing my course, you can go to this website and Lorraine will actually put that in the chat box um, and you guys could sign up for um, anyone that, I, I'm really, I love helping, but one of the things that I've learned is that if people don't pay for it, they really don't take it seriously. So um, if you go to my website, I do, um, I have different packages and I also help you, if you want to get business credit to invest, I also help you get your corporation to get that started as well. So here's my website. Lorraine's also gonna put it in the chat box. And that uh, concludes my presentation. If any of you have questions, Lorraine, are there any questions in the chat box? We don't have any new questions in the chat box. But I also put the website to go to to register as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you everyone for joining and signing up. And everyone that left their email addresses, you can still, I'll keep this window open for a while. You can still drop your email addresses in. I'm collecting them and I will send you the link to be able to get the free checklist that was mentioned today. Thank you so much for joining us and I'll keep this window open for a while. Thanks, Mika. Wait, we have one question on the floor. Go ahead and ask your question um, in the chat box, please. Okay, here's the question. How do you handle the numerous investors at the auction after all the same properties? That's why I, I my best strategy is using the over-the-counter. You just, I mean, honestly, for me, I started in Houston and then I moved to Dallas. You just have to go to certain counties where it's not um, so congested. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it really is a niche market. So not a lot, of, you'll find if you actually go and just wanna be kind of like a looky loop, you'll find a lot of people are just looking. There's, I've been to like, probably like seven or eight auctions out here. And it's probably just two or three people bidding, literally. Now Houston was another story. And um, California is a little bit different too, however, a lot of the counties in California, um, you can actually do it online, but I haven't done California yet, so I really don't, I really don't know. You, I mean, you just have to get in there and just do it, and then you have to just know what your numbers are. It's, I mean, there's really no direct answer for that. Okay, we don't, if we have any more questions, please drop them in the chat box. I'm still collecting email addresses. Well, thank you everybody for joining the call. Hi, guy. Did you get my email? I sure did. Thank you. Okay, great. Nice to see you in person. You too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. The chat box is not. Okay, wait, I got one more question. Okay. Would you hire someone to look at the properties out of state? um yeah i actually have someone that does a one state but definitely if you're interested in that please put your information in a, in a chat box and tell me what state you're in or there might be someone that's interested in actually hiring a person like that that's a good question Is someone said, where can we hire people to take pictures for you out of state? Craigslist? Yeah. Craigslist. I would do Craigslist. I would put an ad on Craigslist. But you want to get someone good so they'll know what to look for. That's, that's knowledgeable. And then you'll also want to know what your exit strategy is going to be. Okay. Um, okay, they're networking in the box. 
Someone said they're a truck driver. Anybody need them to snap some pictures of a property, email him. And he sent that message to everyone so you can get his information there. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for thank joining you. the call. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or book an appointment. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.